Hi friends. So today I want to talk about charting your course, your progress, and staying on your path. So I'm not a huge fan of boats, but I know that if you want to be going from one place to another in a boat, you need to chart your course, just like if you're driving somewhere or have a destination. And that's kind of like life in a way. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I noticed something that made me super happy this week about myself. And first of all, to start with, I journal. And I, I really recommend journaling to you because it's a way for you to look at where you are and where you end up or where you were and where you end up this is my journal I just finished it it took me a year and a half to finish this journal and I have them from way back some of them have disappeared over time but the great thing is is that when I finished my journal and I did I don't always do this but I did it this time I looked at the first date and what I wanted. It just so happened to be January 1st when I started this journal, 2018, and I finished it this week. So what I asked for of myself, because right, we're all on this journey for ourselves, not for anyone else, and we're here for a reason. I say this all the time. We have a purpose to fulfill in this lifetime, and the only one that's stopping us from doing that is ourselves, okay? As we become adults, obviously. When we're kids, we don't have as much control, but if we make it to adulthood, then we can't really blame anyone through our life except ourselves, and we need to take full responsibility for ourselves no matter how much it feels like other people are messing with us. So, um, so I wanna just share with you some things that I said I was I must have been reading a self-help book or something and I was just writing on one side what I say to myself and the other side the feelings connected with it so one thing I said was I shouldn't have eaten caramels before I went I went to bed and the feeling that or the way I felt from it was sabotaging self sleep deprived and stupid so there you go, I was calling myself stupid. Um, and then, so it, it's kind of, this was the basic thing. My house is a mess, I feel like a slob. I still haven't watched the videos I wanted to watch. I feel unproductive, like a loser and lazy. So these are all the things that I wrote and how I felt about them. But what I said on the next page was, what I want to rid myself of. And always on a full moon, I think about what I want to get rid of. And I said, I just want to rid myself of negative self-talk. And that, just that one thing, doing that one thing is so powerful. Because remember, words have energy, a lot of energy. Thoughts have energy, a lot of energy. Words are energy on steroids, right? And written words as well have a lot more energy than thoughts but remember we can control our thoughts and we can definitely be aware of our self-talk and we just by being aware of it we can start changing it and ultimately stop it so I wrote a bunch of things I wanted for myself and a year and a half later I realized that I actually did accomplish some of it but these were things that I've been doing all my life and I finally somehow by being persistent and staying on course I've accomplished a lot of the things that I wanted and this year specifically I wrote down and I used to I've always disliked the word goals and I think a big reason is because I never felt like I accomplished my goals However, this year I just said things I want for 2019. I was very specific. I gave, I put steps to each thing and some of them were um, personal life, some of them were family, 
some of them were professional and the bottom line is I, I'm referring back to that list a lot and I'm help, having my coach, I have a business coach that's a chiropractor helping me with my goals because she is a rock star with goals and I've never seen anyone and her name is Pam Jarbo. Pam, if you're listening, you're a rock star. You, she does more than anyone I've ever seen. So I like to associate myself with people that I want to kind of aspire to. And so she helped me and it's actually starting to happen. A lot of the things, I've actually crossed a bunch of stuff off on my goal list or on the things that I want. But that's because I've been referring to it often and I'm getting very specific and crossing those things off feels really good. Another thing that is really important is to stay on your path. And I'm, and I'm trying to just stay on my path. So, you know, blaming other people for where you are in life or what's happening or how things aren't working is really not productive for you. And it's kind of immature, ultimately. So sometimes I actually say to myself, come on, Vicki, you know, you're a big girl now. Put your big girl panties on, you know. And we all have to do this because it's so easy to blame others, but that's not really gonna help us in life. So that's basically the um, gist of this talk. It's a quick one. I'm just recommending that you chart your course. In other words, write down what you want for yourself. And it could just be, and it's all mostly about our inner selves, right? And most of what we want, we already have inside, but we just, layered on all these dysfunctional self-talk and belief systems that are not serving us. So we have to remove those layers, get back to the amazingness of who we really are and stop doing things that are not serving us. So self-talk is a big one, not being, and also start your day, what, what you do in the beginning of your day. I always start my day with a reading, a, a spiritual reading. And even in my journal, I always write what I'm grateful for, who I appreciate, and especially myself. I ask for forgiveness to my higher power. And remember that forgiveness is the most important thing we can do, and especially forgiving ourselves for not being where we want to be in our lives or, or something that we did wrong because that can happen within an instant. You don't have to suffer for things that you've done wrong. It doesn't matter how horrible of a thing you've done because you will be forgiven instantly if you just ask for forgiveness and believe that you are forgiven, okay? And holding a grudge for someone else or for yourself is one of the most harmful things you can do to yourself because you're not hurting that person. Like, like holding a grudge on someone or being angry at someone is there's a saying, it's like lighting yourself on fire and wishing that person could burn. But I think I messed that quote up, but that's kind of what it is. So take responsibility for yourself. Be kind to yourself. Hi, Maxine. Write down what you want for yourself. Always do kind things for yourself, especially for yourself. And then review where you are in your life at this, on a regular basis, even weekly, is an amazing thing to do. And don't blame other people. Take responsibility for everything that happens in your life. And you're going to start seeing great things happen for you. I hope this helped. Remember, tomorrow at my office, and I'm going to, I didn't post it yesterday, but I'm going to post it today on yesterday's video and today. I'm going to have a woman a lovely, amazing woman, intuitive, named Stephanie, be at my office in the afternoon from 3.30 to 6.30, 645. And she's gonna offer mini free meditation sessions privately for each person. So she may, you know, she can read your energy. So she may say, you know what? Did you know you need to do this? Or she'll just help you in whatever way she can and it's gonna it could be a big uh, 
a big change for you and this could really change you in a really positive way and then I get to see you too so my office is in Haworth 153 Madison Avenue it's a home office Haworth New Jersey from 3 30 to 6 30 we would love to see you you don't have to make an appointment you can just show up and if you're my patient and you're already having a, an appointment with me you're gonna be very happily surprised to see her there okay and I think I covered everything so have a great night and I will hopefully see you tomorrow if you don't live too far away take care bye